Now, I'm going to show you that this is true. So we're going to go back to our charged rod. So we don't have little spheres of charge, but we have objects that can be charged. So here's one. We know if we rub the uh, charge the rod with the cat fur, it comes out negative. And here I have a support holding a piece of Teflon tape and a piece of glass wool. So if you think back to your triboelectric series, you know that Teflon is way at the bottom. Teflon is always negative. And this is Teflon tape. It should also come out very negative. So I'm going to use the cat fur to charge up the tape, just like I charged up the rod. Like that. And what we should see, they're both negative, so it should be repulsive. So we can make sure that we get the right answer. And sure enough, highly repulsive. Oops, sticks to the metal. There it goes. Can't even get them to touch, no matter how hard I try. Repulsive force between the two negative objects. Glass should be positive. I've rubbed it with some uh, polyethylene bags, which left it positive. The rod is negative, so we can see, and sure enough, an attractive force, because that is the case of a positive charge and a negative charge. We can also use this demo to show that charge is conserved. When I rub, I'm actually transferring charge. We're not creating charge, we're transferring charge. So that means the fur should come out positive. Right? The fur comes out positive, it should attract the tape. So let's check. It's not nearly as strong an effect because the fur doesn't hold the charge well. But there you go. You can clearly see the negative tape is attracted to the positive fur.